Hi. In this video, we want to answer the question, how do I create a course on RuneStone Academy? So the first thing that I'm going to do as an assumption is that you have already registered for RuneStone. So you're logged in, which you can tell because your username will appear in the user menu, and you're here at the RuneStone homepage. So to create a course, all we're going to do is click on this Create a Course button. That'll bring us to this custom course page. First thing you have to do is decide, what am I going to call my course? Well, my suggestion is, is that you create a course name that has your institution name in it, maybe the course number in your institution, as well as some sort of indication of the term. So fall 20, spring 21, something like that, because you're going to want to create a new course uh, for each semester. All right, so we can type in our course name, test course fall 20. You can enter a short description. And it's very helpful if you put in your school name. Also, it's very helpful uh, if you can give us some level of the course that you're teaching. Um, that, that'll, that'll help us out a lot as we do an analysis of the difficulty of questions and the different kinds of questions that we will, might want to make available uh, automatically in the textbook based on the kind of the level of the student. All right, and the, the next thing you have to decide is what is the course, what is the book that you want to base your course off of? Right, so in RuneStone, we have the notion of, of a bespoke course, and we have the notion of an open course. So to, to make that distinction clear, let's look back at this registration page. Right, when, you read, when you registered, if you were just sort of coming to RuneStone for the first time, what you'd probably do is register for one of these courses that are open to anyone, so not only does RuneStone serve students um, in your own classroom, but we have a lot of independent learners that just come and register for one of these, one of these books that are open to anyone. Okay, the books that are open to anyone are the same books that you can use to make available to your students, right? So all you have to do is pick one of these. So let's pick uh, Foundations of Python Programming, for example. And then we have a few more decisions to make. So most people are gonna check this box that we wanna require a username um, so that we make our students log in um, so that we can track their progress and so that their work will be saved for them. You could decide whether you wanna enable this experimental pair programming feature and we'll talk about that in another video. And of course you want to be the instructor of this course. Term start date, uh, by default, that'll be set to the today's date, but you could make that uh, coincide with the actual start date for your, for your course. It's useful, again, for you to make that as accurate as possible, because when we do some analysis of, uh, of the difficulty of things and of the usage of the textbooks, uh, we always do that with kind of making use of this term start date offset. All right, um, and then, if you'd like to help RuneStone, you might consider supporting us by checking this box. Now, RuneStone will always remain free to the students who need it, but we need money in order to run our servers, in order to keep working on development of RuneStone. And so one way that you could help with that is by checking this box. If you do, what we will do is send you an invoice and that invoice could be for a set amount, or it could be for something like $10 per student, right? And if your department can afford uh, to pay something for RuneStone, that's awesome. Uh, if you can set up a lab fee so that you can pass that cost on to your students, that would also be greatly appreciated. Uh, but we know that it can often be very difficult to try to work with schools, work within the financial aid programs, 
certainly at the high school level, we can't afford or we can't um, we can't just charge students for using runestone, and we're not going to do that. But if your department could help us out, we would love that. All right. So with all of this stuff filled out, all we have to do is click submit, and it will create a course. You'll see that it will appear at the top of this uh, at the top of this list in the course selection page. And so we can go to that course simply by checking on this. So if you've registered for one or more other courses or created one or more other courses, they'll all appear on this list and you can always get back here. So if we go click on that, you'll see there you are at the table of contents for Foundations of Python Programming.